Good day, students. My name is Comfort Omotara. I will be your biology teacher for today's lesson. And the topic is sexually transmitted infections, STIs. Learning objectives. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to explain the word sexually transmitted infections, identify the major sources of sexually transmitted infections, discuss the signs and symptoms of sexually transmitted infections, and list some treatments to sexually transmitted infections. Content Introduction Sexually transmitted infections are major sources, signs and symptoms of STIs, treatments to STIs. Introduction Sexually transmitted infections are infections that are spread primarily through person-to-person -person sexual contact. There are more than 30 different sexually transmissible bacteria, viruses, and parasites. The most common conditions they cause are gonorrhea, chlamydia infection, Severus, trichomoniasis, cancroid, genital halves, genital warts, human immunodeficiency virus infection, and hepatitis B infection. You shall be looking at some of them. HIV and syphilis can also be transmitted from mother to child during pregnancy and childbirth and through blood product and tissue transfer. Now, what is a sexually transmitted infection, STI? It is an infection passed from person to person through intimate sexual contact. STIs are also called sexually transmitted diseases or STDs. Now, what are the major sources of STI transmission? You can get an STI by having intimate sexual contact with someone who already has the infection. You cannot tell if a person is infected because many STIs have no symptoms. But STIs can still be passed from person to person even if there are no symptoms. STIs are spread during vagina, anal, or oral sex, or during genital touching. So it is possible to get some STIs without having intercourse. Not all STIs are spread the same way. Now, signs and symptoms of STI. Many STIs have only mild or no symptoms at all. When symptoms do develop, they are often mistaken for something else, such as urinary tract infection or yeast infection. This is why screening for STIs is so important. The STIs listed here are among the most common or harmful to women. Symptoms of sexually transmitted infections. STI symptoms of bacterial vaginosis, that is BF. Most women have no symptoms. Women with symptoms may have vaginal hating, pain when urinating, discharge with a fishy odor. Then the second one, chlamydia. Most women have no symptoms. Women with symptoms may have abdominal pain, vaginal discharge, burning when urinating, bleeding between periods. That is between menstrual periods. Infection that are not treated, even if there are no symptoms, can lead to lower abdominal pain, low back pain, Nausea, fever, and pain during sex. We shall be back.
you are welcome back now let's look at genital apps some people may have no symptoms during an outbreak the symptoms are clear small red bomb blisters or open sores when the virus enter the body such as um, on the penis vagina or mouth vagina discharge fever headache muscle aches pain when urinating itching burning or swollen glands in genital area pain in legs buttocks or genital area symptoms may go away and then come back sores ill after two to four weeks now gonorrhea symptoms gonorrhea symptoms are often mild but most women have no symptoms if symptoms are present they most often appear within 10 days of becoming infected symptoms are pain or burning when urinating yellowish and sometimes bloody vagina discharge pain during sex heavy bleeding during periods infection that occur in the throat eye or anus also might have symptoms in these parts of the body another one is hepatitis b some women have no symptoms women with symptoms may have low grade fever headache and muscle aches tiredness tiredness loss of appetite upset stomach or vomiting diarrhea dark colored urine and pale bowel movement stomach pain skin and whites of eyes turning yellow those are the symptoms of hepatitis b now hiv or aids some women may have no symptoms for 10 years or more about half of people with hiv get flu-like symptoms about three to six weeks after becoming infected people can live for months or even years before the onset of its symptoms before the onset of it symptoms include fever and night sweats feeling very tired quick weight loss headache and large lymph loads diarrhea vomiting and upset stomach mouth genital or anal sores dry cough rash or flaky skin short-term memory loss women also might have these signs of hiv vagina yeast infections and other vaginal infections including stis pelvic inflammatory disease pid that does not get better with treatment menstrual cycle changes those are the symptoms of the hiv now we have human papilloma virus hpv some women have no symptoms women with symptoms may have visible warts in the genital area including the thigh the thigh area warts can be raised or flat alone or in groups small or large and sometimes they are cauliflower shaped growth on the cervix and vagina that are often invisible so the syphilis syphilis progresses in stages symptoms of the primary stage are a single painless sore appearing 10 to 90 days after infection it can appear in the genital area, mouth, or other parts of the body. The sore goes away on its own. If the infection is not treated, it moves to the secondary stage. This stage starts three to six weeks after the sore appears. Symptoms of the secondary stage are skin rash with rough, red or reddish brown spots on the hands and feet that usually does not itch and clears on its own fever sore throat and swollen glands patchy 
hair loss, headaches, and muscle aches, weight loss, tiredness. In the latent stage, symptoms go away but can come back. Without treatment, the infection may or may not move to the late stage. In the late stage, symptoms are related to damage to internal organs such as the brain, nerves, eye, heart, blood, vessels, livers, bones, and joints. Some people may die. We shall be back. We are welcome back. Now let's look at trichomoniasis. Sometimes it is called trick. Many women do not have symptoms. Symptoms usually appear 5 to 28 days after exposure and can include yellow, green or grey vaginal discharge, ovens foaming with a strong odor, discomfort during sex and when urinating, itching or discomfort in the genital area, lower abdominal pain rarely. Now let's look at the treatment of STIs. The treatment depends on the type of STI. For some STIs, treatment may involve taking medicine or getting a shot. For other STIs that cannot be cured, like ARPS, treatment can help to relieve the symptoms. Prevention and control of STI. You can lower your risk of getting an STI with the following steps. The step work when used together. No single strategy can protect you from every single type of STI. Do not have sex. That is number one. The surest way to keep from getting any STI is to practice abstinence. This means not having vagina, oral or anal sex. Keep in mind that some STIs like genital herbs can be spread without having intercourse. Be faithful, that is having a sexual relationship with one partner who has been tested for STIs and is not infected is another way to lower your risk of getting infected. Be faithful to each other, this means you only have sex with each other and no one else. Then the second one is use condom. Use condoms correctly every time you have sex. Use condoms for all types of sexual contact, even if intercourse does not take place. Use condoms from the very start to the very end of each sex act and with every sex partner. A male latex condom offers the best protection. Know that some methods of birth control, like birth control pills, shorts, implants, or diaphragm, will not protect you from STI. If you use one of these methods, be sure to also use a condom correctly every time you have sex. Talk with your sex partners about STIs and using condoms before having sex. It is up to you to set the ground rules and to make sure you are protected. Thirdly, talk frankly with your doctor and your sex partners about any STIs you or your partner has or has had. Talk about symptoms such as sores or discharge. Try not to be embarrassed. Your doctor is here to help you with any and all health problems. Also, being open with your doctor and partner will help you protect your health and the health of others. Have a yearly pelvic exam. Ask your doctor if you should be tested for STIs and how often you should be retested. Testing for many STIs is simple and often can be done during your checkup. The sooner an STI is found, the easier it is to treat. Avoid using drugs or drinking too much alcohol, these activities may lead to risky sexual behavior, such as not wearing 
a condom. Assessment. What is a sexually transmitted infection? List the examples of STI you know. What are the major sources of STI? What are the signs and symptoms of STIs? Reference Comprehensive Sexual Link Education Trainer Resource Manual Action Health Incorporated. Thank you.